So what's up? Today we're doing something a little bit different. So we're at King's Highway and we're doing a nice little challenge called going on all of the S trains in New York City in one day. Well, in one day it's like a three o'clock race. Doesn't matter. There's three different S trains in NYC and the first one's near Prospect Park. You might be asking why we're doing this, but I'm asking why not? So for the first trip, we're going on the, either the B or the Q from Kings Highway to Prospect Park, so I'll see you there. So now we're at Prospect Park, and now we're just transferring over to the S train, which is on the other side. So the issue is they run every like 10 minutes, and this one, this is the only one at the station, it has the lights off. And the next one's going to be in like 7 minutes, so I guess it's time to wait. Look what's arriving on the other side. Beautiful. Well, so here we are on the S. It's literally a regular train. It's quite busy. We just got out and look how many people there are. So now we're just walking to the next station to continue the journey, but here it's time for my honest thoughts about that one. So a lot of people use it and it took, and it was like five minutes the entire route. So that was really good, the one issue. What, uh, there are two kids smoking weed in our cab the entire time. So that was kind of annoying. So honestly, I'll give it a six out of 10. So now we're going on to the A train because we're gonna have to go to somewhere near Far Rockaway. We're looking, we're literally turning basically on the water. We're crossing the lawn. That's JFK right So cool, I'm no, sorry, man. And now we've nicely arrived at our station to wait for the S. Which is right here. So this is the second S trains route. And it's located in like Rockaway Park. Look at this, we're going over the water again. It literally looks like we're this tiny bridge and that's it. Look, this almost looks like the Outer Banks or something, you know? So now that we're approaching the end of this, the second, like, the OS, we're at Far Rockaway, and my thoughts about this one are it's not as many people use it, but it has a longer path, which is, like, more use. Uh, so I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe even a 7, because first of all, it doesn't go all the way to the edge of Far Rockaway, and it's just like all the other ones, it's the older train, so that's bad. But yeah, now it's time to go take this exact same train back to the other one. Just kidding, we're going from one S train to the other one over there. And now we're getting ready, once this train goes, to go to like, literally one of the longest routes from all the way in Far Rockaway to Grand Central, up in Manhattan. Now we're at uh, Grand Central, going for the third and final S. Third and final S, look how many people there are. It's so busy because look, it goes from Grand Central to Times Square. Well, so there you go, challenge completed, woohoo. But yeah, about that one, uh, it's busy, but it does, has a really good purpose, short to the point, Times Square, Grand Central, all you need, 8.5 out of 10. Now that we're done. challenges that we've done today. There we go, that's it. So thanks for watching and subscribe.